To keep it simple, may I introduce you to my friend here. He's got the same voice as me, he's got the same in as me, but he's not me. He's a better actor. Hello, today on Gary Keep It Simple, tube or valve amplifiers and solid state transistor amplifiers. Which sound better? How do you use them to get the best results? What is a tube amplifier and why is it different to a transistor amplifier? Or whichever way around you want to go. Going to try and keep it simple, not going to make it too long. Put things in the comments and I'll try and answer them. Or if, if there's enough interest, I might make a proper in-depth video on how a valve amplifier works or how a transistor amplifier works and why there's a real difference. Otherwise, let's just do this one. This is more of a casual one, just so that we can get a feel for the subject. Let's get stuck in. If you're in the hi-fi world or if you're just around about and you like listening to the sound, you'll have heard people say that valve amplifiers are better than transistor amplifiers and vice versa. So what's the truth? Let's have a quick look. Before we get stuck in too far, I have to put my biases on the line. I am old enough to have had to use valve equipment. I'm old enough to have had to try and repair our valve equipment and I'm not particularly in love with valve equipment. However, I can see that there are certain advantages to it and I'll try and give you the, um, the ins and outs without it being too biased. What you'll have noticed from that little picture of the valve is that it's glowing red. That means it gets hot. Valve or tube amplifiers have to have heaters in them and they have to run warm. They also have to have transformers and that means that they're heavy. So they're hot and heavy and they don't use the power of the supply to the best advantage. You can't really have a small battery on a tube amplifier. The bottom one on here, the Mica, the MC275, is a 75 watts per channel stereo amplifier. That's pretty damn good. This is a Fender guitar amp. It's only mono, but uh, it's huge. It would come in a box similar to this. There is another big brand out there called Marshall, and that's their box. To give you an example, this is a transistor amplifier, and it's about the size of a large mobile phone, and it'd be about the same power as that Fender amp. I'm not a brand specialist, but it would appear that you can't actually tell what's in these boxes. They could be valve, they could be transistor. It depends on the model you buy. But that's what they look like. There is a distinct advantage for instruments for valves. The biggest thing in the guitar amp is the actual speaker, so if you can fit the amplifier around it, it doesn't really matter how big it is as long as it fits around it. It doesn't really matter what sort of valve you've got, if it's a triode it's going to have this configuration. As you can see here, there's also a diode, but there's uh, these are about the size of a, of a lamp bulb, an old fashioned lamp bulb, as are these. But then when you get onto this one, this one is only the size of a domestic table pepper pot. As a comparison, this would be smaller than a pepper pot and it would be stereo and it's transistors. Funny enough, one of the biggest disadvantages, one of the biggest advantages for valves, you've got here the filament, the grid, the plate, the glass envelope. It's very difficult to make small, but it's very easy to make big. And when you make it big, you end up with something like this. This gentleman is holding a 500 watt transmitting valve. That's 500 watts for broadcasting radio and things like that. And it's a little known thing that the thing in a microwave is similar to a valve, it works on the same principle, the magnetron, and various other stuff. So high power, you need valves. For medium high power, what we would call high power in the domestic market, transistors will do the job. One of the good things about transistors is they will drive speakers direct, and they are very good at what you put in, you get out, only bigger. But one of the things that valves actually win at is that when you overdrive them, they don't cut off sharply like a transistor does. They sort of they sort of smooth it off, they sort of don't quite get there and they sort of make a mess of the signal, but they don't make a mess that's unpleasant. That's why you get the guitar riffs. Here's a little clip from one of the YouTubers. Hey everyone, Alex from the Chicago Music Exchange here. Today I'm going to be playing a brief history of rock and roll and a hundred riffs in a single take. Here we go.
very nice. And if it wasn't actually a valve amplifier that was doing it, then the pedals he was using were very expensive trying to reproduce the sound of a valve amplifier. Now we're going to start looking at this. This is called a hybrid amp. What does that mean? There's tubes, valves at the front end, and it's got transistors at the rear end, which means that they can drive the speakers nicely. It's not too big. The valves are only being used for input processing, i.e. you stuff the signal in the front and the valve does its thing. Then the output, which is being done by transistor, is being done nicely without all the need for transformers and stuff. Very good way around. Now if you look at some of the big audiophile amplifiers, they do it the same way. Paul McGowan on PS Audio swears by it. He reckons it gives you a sweet sound and the best of both worlds. I'll argue with him. And I've got now a clip of Valve doing the thing that Valves do. Because valves are made the way you can see here, you've got basically metal plates being suspended in a vacuum and electricity being passed on them. Trouble is, if a plate moves, it gets either closer or further away from the other one, it will affect its, its operating conditions and therefore give you a different result. And that's what all this microphonic valve thing is about. What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you what it means. that. Uh, in my opinion, it's only my opinion, valve amplifiers are good for one thing and transistor amplifiers are good for virtually everything, but transistor valve, uh, valve combinations are the best that you can get. I think if you've got the money, go for a hybrid. If you haven't got the money, then go for transistor rather than valve. Unless anybody's got any other opinions, in which case put them in the comments below. Bop a like button, bop the share button, do any buttons you can do and uh, I'll catch you another time. Bye-bye.